Hello everyone, my name is Minis Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about percentage method, total expenditure method, point method and arc method to measure price elasticity of demand. First of all, we are going to talk about percentage method. According to this method, we can calculate price elasticity of demand by dividing percentage change in demand with percentage change in price. According to this method, we can calculate price elasticity of demand by dividing percentage change in demand with percentage change in price. Here you can see formula of calculating price elasticity of demand with the percentage method, percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in price. Here we have minus sign because demand and price have a negative relation. So this is the formula of calculating price elasticity of demand with percentage method. In place of percentage change in quantity demanded, we can replace this formula because this is formula to calculate percentage change in quantity demanded. Similar, in place of percentage change in price, we can replace this formula because this is formula to calculate percentage change in price. Here Q1 means new demand. Q means original demand or we can say that old demand. Similar, P1 means new price and P means original price or we can say the old price. Q1 minus Q mainly tell us a change. That's why we can represent Q1 minus Q with delta. So, we replace delta with Q1 minus Q. Similar, P1 minus P mainly represent a change. That's why we can represent P1 minus P with delta P. So, we replace delta P with the P1 minus P. After doing this, our equation will become like this. Now, we will write this equation in multiplication form. After writing this equation in multiplication form, our final equation will become like this. We will bring delta P in this side. So, after doing this, this will be our final equation. With the help of this equation, we can calculate uh, uh, price elasticity of demand with percentage method. Here delta Q represent uh, change in demand, delta P represent change in price, P represent original price, Q represent original demand. Next is total expenditure method. Here our expenditure depend on elasticity of demand. In case of elastic demand, when price fall, total expenditure increase. When price increase, total expenditure fall. That's why we can say that our price elasticity of demand is more than 1. First column we have price, second column we have quantity demanded. We can calculate uh, total expenditure when we multiply price with quantities. So third column we have total expenditure. When price is 60, demand is 10 and total expenditure is 600. When price reduce from 60 to 50, demand increase from 10 to 13 and total expenditure also increase from 600 to 650. So here you can see when price fall, our total expenditure increase. So it will be called elastic demand. Second case, we have inelastic demand. When price fall, total expenditure also fall. When price increase, total expenditure also increase. That's why price elasticity of demand is less than 1. Simply here you can see when price is 60, demand is uh, 10, total expenditure is 600. When price of fall uh, 60 to 50, demand increase from 10 to 11. But our total expenditure fall, you can see earlier our total expenditure was 600, but now our total expenditure is 550. That means when price reduce our total expenditure fall, that's why price elasticity or demand is less than 1. Third case, we have unitary elastic. Here, no change in total expenditure due to change in price. When price is 60, demand is 10, total expenditure is 600. When price fall 60 to 50, demand increase from 10 to 12, but our total expenditure is same. Earlier it was 600, but now it is also 600. That means change in price will not affect our total expenditure. In case of unitary elastic, our price elasticity of demand is equal to 1 because change in price will not affect our total expenditure. 
Now with the help of this diagram, we will understand total expenditure and all three types of elasticity of demand. On x axis we have total expenditure, y axis we have price. This is T1, this curve represents our total expenditure. This part of this curve represents elasticity of demand is more than 1, elasticity of demand is greater than 1. That's why when price fall from P2, P1, total expenditure increase from Q2, Q1. And this part of this curve represent elasticity of demand is less than 1. That's why when price fall from P2 to P3, our total expenditure also fall from Q1 to Q. And this part represent price elasticity of demand is equal to 1. Means this BC part represent price elasticity of demand is equal to 1. That's why change in price will not affect our total expenditure. Now we'll see point method. Formula is lower segment below a given point divided by upper segment above a given point. We have linear demand curve. Suppose our given point is P. That means we want to calculate price elasticity at this P point. And lower segment below this P point is PB. So we write here PB. And upper segment above this P point is PA. So we write here PA. Here you can see PB is equal to PA. Suppose if PB is uh, 4, then PA also 4. 4 for cancel with each other. That means at this P point, price elasticity of demand is equal to 1. Now we will see price elasticity of demand on all these points on this uh, linear demand curve. We have already discussed at this P point, price elasticity of demand is equal to 1. Now we will see price elasticity of demand at this P1 point. At this P1 point, price elasticity of demand is less than 1 because at this P1 point, upper segmentation P1A is greater than the lower segmentation P1B. At this P2 point, price elasticity of demand is greater than 1 because at this P2 point, lower segment P2B is greater than the upper segment P2A. At this A point, price elasticity of demand is infinity because there is no upper segment above this A point. At this B point, price elasticity of demand is equal to zero because there is no lower segmentation below this B point. Now we will see point elasticity of demand when our demand curve is non-linear. Here you can see DD is non-linear demand curve. Whenever we have non-linear demand curve, first of all we draw one tangent. Here AB tangent we draw and we have to calculate price elasticity of demand at this E point. Our formula is same, lower segment below a given point divided by upper segment above a given point. If EB is equal to EA, that means our price elasticity of demand is equal to 1. If EB is uh, greater than EA, that means price elasticity of demand is greater than 1. If EB is less than EA, that means price elasticity of demand is less than 1. Now we will see arc elasticity of demand. When we calculate elasticity between two points of same demand curve, it will be called arc elasticity of demand. When we calculate elasticity between two points of same demand curve, it will be called arc elasticity of demand. For example, here you can see we have one demand curve DD. We have two points A and B. When we calculate elasticity between these two points, it will be called arc elasticity of demand. And we can calculate uh, elasticity according to this method by calculating midpoint, midpoint between Q1 and Q2 and midpoint between P1 and P2. And the formula of calculating midpoint between Q1 and Q2 is Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2, P1 plus P2 divided by 2. Now we drive formula uh, delta Q over Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2 means this is formula of calculating midpoint of Q and uh, uh, delta P over P1 plus P2 over uh, 2 this is formula of calculating midpoint of uh, P. Now we write this equation in multiplication form. After doing this our equation will look like this. This 2 and 2 cancel with each other and this is our equation after doing this. As we know this uh, 
डेल्टा क्यू मेनली टेलस चेंज बिटवीन क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू दैट्स वाई इन प्लेस ऑफ डेल्टा क्यू वी कैन राइट क्यू वन माइनस क्यू टू सिमिलर डेल्टा पी रिप्रेजेंट चेंज बिटवीन पी वन एंड पी टू दैट्स वाई इन प्लेस ऑफ डेल्टा पी वी कैन राइट पी वन माइनस पी टू आफ्टर डूइंग दिस दिस विल बी अवर फाइनल फॉर्मूला टू मेजर अर्क इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड so this is all about uh, method to measure price elasticity of demand i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care